if you have a flexi band or resistance band or whatever you want to call it, if you've got something like this and you want to use it um, then grab it now it's not essential um, so if you haven't got one don't worry you can still do the stretches it out but um, if you want to um, then grab your band hi Karen um, so grab your band and I'm just gonna see I'm just gonna put some music on in a minute if um, anyone else is jumping on because it's only just eight o'clock so we're gonna do that did anyone try hi Emma <laughs> you're Amy's friend hi nice to you to join us okay did anyone see on the page on my page online Pilates instructor page um, me showing it was last week I think it was Friday this pike fold stretch where we go down and we point and flex our feet and hold it did anyone has anyone tried it I'd love to know if you have because I set you a challenge on that page if anyone watched it to have a go and see if you could do that every day so you'll have to let me know if you've tried it um, and if you haven't go and check it out it's a great stretch for the hamstrings um, and uh, I'd love to know how people get on with it I've got new leggings and I'm not sure I'm not convinced about them not quite sure how they're meant to work um, they looked great in the picture these are sort of meant to tie round the is my calves are quite big and so they don't really tie round properly I think they were sort of modelled on a, a lady with thinner <laughs> thinner legs um, I'm sure they were, I think they're meant to be like that but I don't think they're going to stay like that, I'm not convinced I much prefer my t-shirt I've got on tonight she believed she could so she did, yes um, which is uh, a Just Strong t-shirt uh, I like those, you did it Amy have you been doing it every day? Super, if you have, fantastic. And um, I think you said you could touch your toes anyway, didn't you? So, um, but ha have you been able to get any further or is it certainly easier? Hopefully um, it is. Hi Leanne, thank you for joining us. Right, um, the other thing I was gonna mention to us was we just wait for anyone else to join us is you should have seen in the group, if you haven't already, check it out after this. Um, uh, the sign up link for our challenge next week it's a free challenge in the group called strong core clear mind hi Liam uh, challenge and um, if you would like to join me next week then you need to sign up you need to click the link and sign up you need to sign up although the la the um, challenge is going on in this group I can only send you the workouts I have to send you a link and whatever and it's easier to do it via email so um, please if you'd like to do that challenge with me next week it starts on Monday make sure you sign up okay the links there I'll, I'll be posting all week about it um, but sign up and you will uh, uh, be doing that challenge as of Monday has anyone signed up already I wonder who's been hot off the mark and signed up already hello Heather nice to see you have you got your band Beverly hi so if you've just joined, if you've got a band, a, a flexi band or resistance band, grab it now. Um, I'm just reading. Oh, brilliant, Amy. Well done. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. So grab your band. We're going to get started. And um, I will put some music on. And hopefully you can just hear that quietly in the background. But you can still hear me as well a little bit. I don't know if you can, you'll have to give me a thumbs up if you can hear the music, although it's not essential, but it's quite nice. Right, so make sure you've got your bands, and uh, we'll see what happens with my leggings through the course of this thing, whether they stay where they're meant to. Um, I think they might just end up annoying me. I've got bits of all stuff stuck to my mat, that's the children using it. Right, are you ready? Are you ready, ready, ready? Let's get going. So just get my notes because I've got lots of different stretches for us planned tonight so standing up to begin with and we just need to get moving it's always better to stretch when your muscles are warmer hello Elaine thank you for joining right feet hip width apart stand up tall just take a moment to think about your standing posture oh this is so good just focus on the here and now 
and on you. That's all that matters for the next half hour, okay? Right, just think about drawing up through the front of the thighs, just bringing that pelvis into a neutral position. Couple of shoulder rolls and bring the shoulders down and away from the ears. Thumbs are pointing forwards, draw the chin into the chest, lengthen up through the back of the neck. Just think about drawing a hipster belt in a little bit much tighter than you would do normally, just engaging those lower abdominals. And then we're just going to stretch out through the neck to begin with. So just take the head to one side and then to the other. So we build up a lot of tension through the neck and the shoulders often during the day. It's often when we hold all the stresses of the day. Now, if your neck is particularly tight, sometimes what happens is your shoulder wants to follow your ear. So really try and reach the hand down and away in the opposite direction. So you get a really good stretch through the side of the neck. Do one more each side. Just being aware of how each side feels. One side might feel a little bit tighter than the other. Okay, drop the chin to the chest. Keep looking down and turn the head to one side. Look back to your toes and turn to the other side. Back to your toes. Keep turning and down. And turn the head and down. Lift the head back up. Now I want you to turn the head first this time and look as so your nose is like in line with your uh, left toes or right toes, whichever way you're looking. And then nod the head down. So you're looking down to one foot. And then just with your hand, don't push your head down but just have the weight of your hand on the back of your head and you'll just feel that stretching through the neck in a slightly different place, maybe even down into the shoulder blade a little bit on that opposite side. And then lift up. So now turn your head the other direction. Look down, so you're looking down to the other foot. Hand just resting on the head. You're not pushing, you're just resting the hand there. Looking down, just feeling that stretch more down the um, sort of the between the centre and the side of the neck really and down into the shoulder blade and release and bring it up well done take it into half circles so side looking down side and up and again side little circle just around the front of the body just with the head one side and then the other last one coming back up to static well done bring the arms up bring the shoulders down we're just going to work through the back get the back moving a little bit so we're just going to twist from the waist turning to one side back to center and the other side so just taking that spine into rotation just get the back moving if we just go into stretches cold they won't be very effective and we can end up injuring ourselves so just come into center and then the other way come back to center and now we're going to take it over to the side really engage the tummy and support your back as you come back up to standing up so take it over to the side engage the tummy and lift up over to the side engage through the center lift up shoulders down over to the side engage the center and lift up well done just open the chest and ceiling don't take it back too far we're just warming up remember okay then we're going to fold forwards from the hips now if you um your back is feeling a bit delicate you can take your hands onto your thighs here or keep the knees bent so they're nice and soft otherwise really make sure you're drawing in through the center and you're lengthening the spine away and we're trying to lengthen the spine making it longer and longer and longer and longer don't worry if to begin with you have to you need your legs bent if it feels tight through your hamstrings that's fine again we're just warming up getting the body moving soften the knees then as you curl back up get that pelvis into position first rebuild the spine bring the shoulders down okay we're going to repeat all of that so bring your hands up shoulders down fix your hips forwards twist to the side back to center keep the spine long you'll get better rotation as you twist back to me now let's take it to the side side bend over keep the tummy pulled in and lengthen up and the other way tummy pulled in lengthen up open the chest to the ceiling if you want to take it a little bit further into a back extension you can that's up to you come up to center lengthen forwards 
bent legs or hands on your thighs if you want to. Keep lengthening forwards, keep reaching, reaching, reaching. Make the back longer, 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 longer as you lengthen down over that legs. Beginning to just feel a bit of a stretch through the hamstrings and then curling back up when we're ready, bringing the shoulders down, well done. Okay, I just want you to take it into some hip circles of standing, just to loosen up through the hips and through the pelvis. Again, if you've been doing a lot of sitting um, or standing, the pelvis can get very fixed. So opening out through the hips. And then we're gonna reverse it, so you're gonna bring the legs circle in and circle in. Yeah, so take it out to the side and round and circle in and circle in. Well done. Two more and come back to centre into some gentle squats. So just warming up through the knee and ankle joints now. Just the feet are hip width apart. You just take it down as far as you're comfortable to. Obviously, the deeper you go, you're actually then working a bit more strength. Um, but for the purposes of what we're doing tonight, you can just do shallow ones. It's just to get that blood circulating now and get the muscles warm. Okay, let's take it into, we're gonna add a couple of moves together. So we're going to turn to your right. So your heels lifted at the back and you're just gonna bend the back leg and the front leg. You don't need to take it down far. I want you to make sure that front knee isn't going over your toes. Okay, so you don't put too much pressure through that knee joint. And we're just taking it down into the into like a little lunge. Come back to me, the legs are a bit wider now, into a wider squat. Turn to your left, pick up your back foot into a small lunge. Back to me, wide squat. Okay, so we're just beginning to give these muscles a bit of an active stretch. We're stretching them as we're moving. Okay, rather than holding a stretch, which is a static stretch, we're doing some active stretching here. Through the hips. Sit the bottom back as you go into that squat. Try and tuck the tailbone under a little bit here so you begin to get a bit of a stretch through the front of that hip. And squat and lunge and squat okay we're going to hold it here this time now you can hold it with the knee off the floor or if you prefer drop the knee down scoop the tailbone under stretch through the front of the hip same arm as your back leg so should be your left arm if you're mirroring me over to the side feel that stretch increase all the way down through the front of that hip flexor release. Tuck the toe under, come back up into a squat, hold it here. We did this one last week. We're going to take the insides of the hands and just gently push the legs out to the side. So we're getting to stretch through the inner thighs and just hold it there. So like, a, um, like you're a sumo wrestler. And release, well done. Turn, pick up that back leg, lunging it down. Hold here or drop to your knee like we did the other side. Scoop the tailbone under, push the hip forwards. Right arm is coming up, reaching over to the side. A bit of balance involved here as well if you've got that knee lifted. Really feel that deep stretch through the front of the hip. And round. Back into a squat here. Now you can hold it here as we just did, or we're going to take it deep down. Place the bring my feet in a little bit actually. So try and keep your heels on the floor, bring your elbows in between the knees and I'm pushing my elbows against my knees, fingers, fingers um, palms of the hands are together and I'm just pushing the knees out to the side, opening out through the hips. If you can't get down to this position, just go back to how we were uh, before with the, um, in this position, in that sumo squat. Okay, coming up, turning to the side again, into this stretch, reaching up and over. So you can have the knee down like I've got it, or you can tuck the toe under at the back and lift the knee. Keep pushing this hip forwards, and release. Back to centre, sumo squat, pushing the knees out to the side, or deep squat. Again, still pushing the knees 
out to the side, opening out through the hips. We're repeating the stretches so that the, you can take that stretch a bit further than you did last time. Okay, tucking that tailbone under again. Hips pushing forwards. Reach the back arm up and over. Back to centre. Sumo squat. Or we're going to do something slightly different. Take the hands into the centre. Have the hips high. And just hold it here. And you'll probably feel a bit of a stretch through the inner thighs and the hamstrings. If you want to, walk the legs out a little bit further. Only go as far as you're comfortable. You can take your forearms and even your forehead down onto the floor if you want to. Can you feel that stretch to the inner thighs? Well done. Okay, come up, walk the feet in if you need to, into hip width and just rolling back up. Well done. Okay, let's just stretch out through the waist a bit more now. So, hopefully you're feeling a bit warmer. I am. Take your legs as wide as they are long. Just turning my music down just slightly. Right, take your legs as wide as they are long. Turn your back foot in just slightly, about 20 degrees. Um, and your front foot, or your right foot, if you're mirroring me, house is pointing to the side. Turn your hips back to me. Lift the arms up, shoulders down. You're going to reach forwards as far as comfortable. Release the underneath arm. Open that top shoulder. You're trying to open the chest. And you will feel that nice stretch through the waist and into the lower back. Do an arm circle round and reach up. Arm circle round and reach up. Arm circle round and reach up. So it's not how far down your leg you go that's important. It's about drawing that um, shoulder back, trying to take the tummy button up towards the ceiling. So you're really scooping under here. Hopefully you can feel that stretch there in the back. Try and relax into that stretch. Another arm circle. And again. One more. Reaching up. Engage through the centre, bend that front leg. Just bring yourselves up to standing. Let's change sides. So you're going to take it um, the other way. So you're bringing that back foot in. It's your right foot now slightly. Turn the hips to me. Arms up, shoulders down. Reach forwards and over to the side. Tuck the tailbone under, draw the top shoulder back. Arm circle. And arm circle. And again, arm circle. Open the chest. Tuck the tailbone under. Try and push the hips forwards towards uh, me, if you're facing me. Feel that stretch deep into the waist. And you may feel it in the QL as well, which is a muscle that is easily gets to really tight when you're sitting, often causes a lot of lower back ache. And another circle. And again. One more. And bend that front leg coming up. Well done. Keep the legs wide. We're going to take it over to one side and then the other. So just stretching from side to side. Now, you might feel that stretching through the inner thigh already. Obviously, if you can't feel that stretching, take it deeper. Try and keep, if you are going deep like this, try and keep this heel on the floor. Okay, so you're keeping the heel on the floor. So side to side. Okay, you're going to hold it over to your right side. So you're holding it here, or you're holding it here. And you're going to flex and point the foot down. Flex and point. So if you're in this position, we're pointing and flexing. So we increase the stretch, releasing the stretch. Okay? Doing that a few times. Just lengthening through the muscle. And release. Over to the other side. So we're either here, point and stretch, sorry, flex and point, or taking it down, point and flex. Feel that lovely deep stretch of the inner thighs, opening out through the hips. One more. 
and then coming back to centre, walk the feet in and coming back up. Good job. Right, let's uh, come to the back of our mat. Oh, breathe in, breathe out, chin to chest. So just roll down through the back, curling through the spine. And as you relax forwards, as you probably feel a little bit um, uh, easier than when we did it at the very beginning of the class. And then curling back up again. Okay, I actually want you to come to the front of your mats for me. So if you're not there already, come to the front so you've got room to step back. Breathe in, breathe out, chin to chest, rolling down. Okay, you're going to step back with your left leg. Step back with your left leg. Okay, hands on the floor, toe is tucked under, and we're just going to rock, gently push on that back foot, and then just try and sink the hip down. Sink the hips again, we're stretching through the front of the hips, and just rocking. Gently. Okay. You're going to push the back heel down and straight in the front leg. Doesn't matter if you don't get it straight, you're just trying to go in that direction and then bend and release. So you're just pushing through that front leg, even if it's just a little bit, until you can feel a stretch and bend. Push back, stretch through that hamstring in the front of the leg and bend. If that's too much with your hands on the floor, you can do it here, but it's more wobbly. Yeah, you're sort of, um, it's harder to balance. So I think it's better to keep your hands on the floor and just do a smaller movement. Sink with the hips and push back. And sink and push back. One more. Sink and push back. Okay, sink, drop the back knee, release the toe. Now, we had a go at this one last week. We did it against the wall. Um, we're not going to do that this week. We're going to use our hand or your bands. Let me show you both. If you want to, you can just hold it here, okay? Next thing, you can try and pick up the back leg. Or you can use your hand and do your opposite hand to leg so you're better balanced. Hold on to the front of the foot and draw the heel into the bottom. And oh, can you feel that really deep in the thigh? If you can't reach your back leg, I know it's a bit fiddly, but you can use that band. If you wrap it round your foot, you can use that band to help draw that um, your heel in if you can't reach it. Okay, try and keep staying sink. Stay sink, say sunk. I think it's quite dropping the hip down. Okay, so you're just feeling that stretch there. So holding the band on the front of the leg. Oh, that's a good deep stretch. Well done. And release. Sit back a little bit and just straighten that front leg again or go as far as is comfortable. Feeling that stretch through the front of the ham sorry, the hamstring, the back of the leg. Well done. Okay, we're going to turn into child's pose, but I want you to keep that leg out to the side and turn to face this way so you're doing a child's pose with one leg out to the side does that make sense yeah normally we do a child's pose here with both legs tucked in so you're having your left no your right leg out to the side and again just dropping out stretching out through the inner thigh try and sit down reach forwards with the hands okay now come into child's pose and then we're going to reverse this coming up the other way. So you're going to take your left foot out to the side into child's pose. Really try and sit back through um, the tailbone. Okay, I'm just going to go this way a little bit so you can see me. We're going to come up, keep this leg straight, the left leg, lengthen forwards over that leg. Hold on to the thigh, or just hands on the thigh, hands on the floor. Lengthen forwards. Feel that stretch through the hamstring again. So we keep coming back, stretching the same muscles, taking it a little bit deeper each time. Okay, we're going to come forwards. You're going to pick up that back leg. So you can just hold it here, or take hold of it with your hand, 
or wrap the band round that foot and draw the heel into the bottom. Feel that nice deep stretch through the front of the thigh. And release. Tuck the back toe under into your lunge and we're just rocking gently here. Just sitting down through this hip. And then just begin to straighten the front leg and release. And straighten and release. And straighten and release. Or just going as far as is comfortable. Do one more. And release. Push on that back foot. Bring the feet in together. And you're just going to roll up through the spine. Oh, your legs should feel lovely and loose now. Okay. Grab your band if you've got your band. And we're just going to work through the shoulders with our band a little bit. So, I'll show you with and without the band in case you haven't got a band. I start wide. And you're going to take the arms over and above and bring them back. Okay? Now, you want to keep your posture um, in its neutral spine. So, as you take the arms here, you don't want to be arching the back. And the same as you bring them back over. Keep that tummy nice and tight. Try and keep the arms going symmetrically, so not one then the other. Now, if you haven't got the band, just do some arm circles here. Still good working through the shoulders. Well done. Okay, what well, next one I want you to finish behind you. And with the legs slightly bent and soft um, and slightly wider than hip width apart, we're going to. Um, fold over and just stretch the hands. You might need to just change the position. Yeah, take, look, take your hands behind you. Can you see my hands? So I'm holding down like that. Because I want you to stretch the front of your shoulders. Yeah, and then as you go over, they won't go all the way over, obviously. You don't want to dislocate the shoulder. Just take it so you can feel a stretch in the front of the shoulders. You'll get more of a stretch if your hands are closer together. Okay, come up. So you can, if you want to, move your hands closer together. Just check, look at my hands. Okay, and then I'm going, lifting them up like this. Knees are bent. It's really hard because I can't see you, so I can't give you any feedback. So hopefully you can follow what I'm saying. Just stretching out through the front of the shoulders. Yeah, you'll have to let me know if you can, um, if you can feel that. Right, L drop the band down and I'm going to just show you a couple of stretches. If you've got a wall, um, you can go and find it if you want to. But a couple of stretches for your shoulders, because a few people have been talking about shoulders and being very tight here. And if we're sat at a desk all day and getting very tight through the front of our shoulders. So what you can do is bend, just checking you can see me, bend your hands at like right angles against the wall, press the shoulder in, and then open out and turn away. And you'll feel that really deep through the front of the shoulder. I can't quite turn enough to see if you can see that. Hopefully you can. So then I'll try the other side. So right angles with my shoulder. And then I'm opening up. Keep the shoulder pressed into the wall. And then just draw the chest away as if you're turning away. And you can feel that deep in the shoulder. So you'll have to let me know at the end if you can um, if you can feel that and open out through the shoulders. Okay, well done. Right, grab your band again. Let's do a bit more on the shoulders. And this is a stretch I need to practice and I need to do. Um, so I don't have the most flexible shoulders. What we're going to do is do you know this tricep stretch here, where um, you can take the hand behind, okay, and reach the fingertips. Um, or you can do it like this if you want to, if you prefer. If you haven't got a band, you can do the stretch here. Or you can reach behind. And the idea is, is you've got to try and touch your shoulders. Touch your shoulders, touch your hands, your fingertips. Okay. Now, if you're like me and you're quite stiff in the shoulders, that I don't think I've ever been able to do that. I keep working on it. I will do. I will one day. Is to hold the band. I'm hoping you can see this and work your hands down the length of the band and up the length of the band so they get closer 
until you can feel a stretch. Try and move my, oh, move my hair out the way. It's too long. Right. Yep, so keep walking the hands down. And can you feel that through the, you can, I can feel it here in my shoulder. You may feel it through the triceps. Yep, so again, you have to let me know how that feels. Okay, let's just change. So, you're gonna reach behind here. Reach up here. Reach up through the band. Reach the other hand down. Keep reaching, keep reaching. And try and get those hands closer and closer together. It just helps you hold that stretch with the shoulders. Well done. I'd love to be able to see how you're getting on with that. And if, of course, you can reach your hands, then you can do the stretch that way anyway. Well done. Okay, brilliant. Let's get onto the floor then and do some more stretches on the floor. I'll tell you what, time just goes so quick, doesn't it? Oh, I could stretch all night. Right, are you ready? Chin to chest, rolling down. You're going to walk your hands forwards into an inverted V shape. Again, just dropping the chest, opening out through the chest, lengthening the spine. Do a few heel walks, pressing one heel down and then the other. So you're just stretching out through the calves again and the back of the legs. Okay, come up on both toes, bring the knees in towards the chest, just stretch through the back and release, press the heels down. Rise up, bring the knees into the chest, release and lower. One more time, rise up, bring it in and lower. Drop the knees and into your child's pose. Try and really lengthen the tailbone down to um, the heels. And then you can walk the fingertips forwards. Let the heel at the bottom come up and just drop the chest down. Try and try take the armpits down. So you're really stretching again through the shoulders and the chest and taking some extension into that back. Oh, well done. Oh, that feels better. Fantastic. Okay. Come onto your backs for me then and grab your band. Right. We're going, now our legs are nicely warmed up now. So you're going to take your right leg if you all do your right leg, that will really help me when I'm trying to get, explain instructions, okay? So right leg is in the band. Extend the left leg out along the length of the floor and draw that right leg in towards the chest. Feel that stretch through the hamstring. And again, the hamstrings are really important to stretch. They attach onto the pelvis. If they're tight, they're gonna pull that pelvis, which is gonna affect your posture and cause, or could cause, um, your back to ache. Right, you're gonna take both ends of the band in your left hand. Take your right hand out to the side. Rotate the leg inwards from the hip. So the toes are pointing to your left shoulder. Draw the leg in towards you first. And then I want you to take it across the body. Oh yes. Lovely stretch, this is really good if you tend to get sciatic type pains, shooting pains down the leg. Yeah, or you're very tight through the glutes. So keep drawing the leg in and across the body, just taking it to where you can feel that stretch. And release back to centre, you're going to swap hands. Okay, so you're going to swap hands, your left hand's coming out to the side, you're going to rotate that leg so the toes are pointing to the right shoulder. Draw the leg in first and then open out to the side. Try and keep the hips flat. And just take the leg out to the side. Try and relax the leg in the band so you can relax the muscles, get a really good stretch through the inner thighs. Hold it there. And release. Bring the leg in towards you. Now, sorry, what I should have said is if you have a got band, you could also do the same thing, just holding on with your arms. Okay, release, bend that leg, let's swap legs. So your left leg is in the band or you're just holding on to the left leg, okay? 
Join that leg in towards the chest. The band just gives you a bit more leverage to draw, to draw that leg in. Okay, so if you've got the band, you're going to hold both ends of the band in the right hand, left hand out to the side. Rotate the toes, the leg inwards towards the right shoulder. Draw the leg in and across the body. And just play with that position. You'll feel that stretching all up the length of the leg. Might even feel it right up to the ankle as well. If you haven't got a band, just again hold on to the leg and take it across with your arm. Drawing that leg in and try and relax into that stretch. Oh, well done. Release back to centre. Draw the leg into the chest. Swap hands. Right hand out to the side. Rotate the leg first. Draw the leg in and then open to the side. Try and relax that um, leg in the band. Try and keep the hips so you're not rolling with this other leg on the floor, but opening the hips. Keep drawing the leg up as well if you can. And release. Bring both legs into the band and just keep the feet flexed and bring both legs in and over. Even if the bottom lifts off a little bit, drawing the both legs over. If you haven't got the band, just use your hands behind both legs. Well done. Bend the legs, lose the band, just tug the knees into the chest, bring the head up as well so you're really rounding through the back. And coming up to sitting. Well done. Come into a cross legged position. Okay, we're going to do chin to chest. We're going to roll down, relax forwards over the legs, give that lower back a stretch out. Relaxing down. Okay, now you can stay here. If your back is happy, I'm going to add in a spinal rotation. So you're going to take the left hand, so it's flat, the forearm is flat on the floor. If you can't get the whole forearm down, you can just do your hand. So hand or forearm. Then you're going to take your right hand up and try and turn up towards the ceiling. Try and take that up to the ceiling. So we're taking the spine into flexion and rotation here. And release, change sides. So hand or forearm, take the other arm up towards the ceiling. Now you might find that it feels easier on one side than the other because we're not all perfectly symmetrical. And release, take both hands down, relax over the um, legs. Coming back up through a curved spine, shoulders down. Reach up and over, just stretch through the waist. And release. I'm looking at my list of ideas I had. I had loads more stretches and the time just goes, doesn't it? So I will save them and we will do them next time. Link the fingers, drop the chin to chest, round the upper back, draw the shoulder blades apart. And release, turn the palms away from you, draw the shoulders into the sockets, take the arms up to the ceiling. And release, just take the head to one side. Notice how perhaps that feels compared to at the start. Hopefully it feels a bit easier. Let the head just relax into that stretch. Take it a little bit further if you can. Now you've warmed up and release. Back to the first side. So keep that shoulder down. Try and let the head become heavy as you take it into that stretch. And the other side. Lift the head up, chin to chest. And lift the head up, breathe in. And breathe out. And again, breathe in. And breathe out. One more time, breathe in. Hands down through the centre as you breathe out. Well done, well done. Let me know in the comments how you got on, if there was any particular stretches you liked. What did you think of the, the one stretching our shoulders down the back? Or using the band for that, which is your favourite stretch? If you've got any requests for bits of your body you want stretched. Now, next week, um, I'm not going to do a stretch session. I'm just turning my music off. I'm not going to do a stretch session because we're doing the challenge in the group. And I'll actually be live in the group at this time, um, talking through some 
tips and different ways you can clear your mind, have a nice clear mind, um, as that's part of the challenge. So next week, as part of the challenge that I mentioned at the beginning, the Strong Core Clear Mind Challenge, um, you'll have a core workout each day, and I'll also be live in this group every evening at 8 o'clock, just for a short session to give you some tips on things and how we can clear our minds. So it'd be lovely to see you there um, and uh, for you to join me for that. If you do want to join, make sure you register though, because if you don't register, I can't send you the workouts, okay? So make sure you register, then I can, you've got, I can send you the link to the workouts um, into your inbox. So... Um, that's happening next week. However, after that, we will carry on with our live stretch sessions. I'm going to carry on all through August and we'll see how we go. We might carry on after that as well, but I don't know yet. But definitely all through August, we'll be doing our live stretch session here um, at eight o'clock on a Tuesday night. Thank you, everyone who's joined me. And uh, oh, well done. Well done. Like the shoulder stretches. Yeah, good. Um, where do you register, Heather? There's a link um, in the group. Um, it will be, I'll post another one tomorrow. There is, um, I posted one this afternoon, I think, um, in the group. So if you scroll through this group, you should see a link. It's Strong Core, Clear Mind, and there should be a link in that text to click on. Any problems, let me know. Um, and um, you can register on that link. Um, oh, good, Amy, good. Yes. We've done a bit more on the shoulders today, but quite a bit on the legs as well. So let me know if there's anything, if, you know, any particular bits of your body you desperately want to stretch. Oh, good, Karen. Oh, yes. Yeah, you probably, you probably did, could have benefit, yeah. So hopefully this has really helped you tonight then. Make sure everyone, please, go and have some water. Go and have a drink. Yeah, because we will have got warm. I mean, I'm warm. I don't know about you guys, but I'm warm. Um, and um, yeah, you must, even though we're not sweating, we're not jumping around, you still need to hydrate yourselves. Okay, so um, please go and have some water because that that um, helps as well. Um, you know, keep keep the muscles supple and, and, st and help with um, cramp, Karen, as well. So um, uh, yeah, please go and have some water. So thank you everyone for joining me. If you know of anyone else who'd like to come and join in the challenge next week or the stretch sessions, then please let them know. Come and join the group. And um, I hope um, I will hope to see you all next week. Um, it would be fantastic um, to do this, uh, to, do, to do the challenge with you all. So have a lovely evening. Have a lovely rest of your week, everyone. Great, Karen. Thank you. I will see you there. And um, Karen, did you get your band? You'll have to let me know if your band arrived. I've probably given the game away now as your little surprise. Let me know if it's arrived. Um, and um, yes, have a lovely week, everyone. So next week is challenge. Make sure you've signed up. And then after that, we'll carry on with the free stretch sessions. So I will see you all very, very soon. Enjoy. Oh, I feel so much better now being stretched out. Have a good evening. And I'll see you all later. Take care. Bye.